Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. You know, I'm a big fan of Queen Majesty Hot Sauce, located in Queens, New York. Now, Erica Deal, a.k.a. Queen Majesty herself, has teamed up with the uh, Blue Point Brewing Company to create an outstanding hot sauce that is made especially for oysters. Check this out, guys. This is Queen Majesty's Blue Point Toasted Lager Hot Sauce for Oysters. All right, made with the Blue Point Toasted Lager Beer. All right, let's get into this one. I want to read what it says on the website. It says, Queen Majesty Hot Sauce teamed up with our favorite local brewery to create our latest collaboration, Blue Point Toasted Lager Hot Sauce. This sunny sauce balances a warm citrus flavor with just a hint of heat. Our original recipe is inspired by a classic mignonette, but takes on a new twist with the subtle nuttiness of the lager. Now there's a picture of the Blue Point Toasted Lager beer that's used in this sauce. We kept the spice level to a minimum on this sauce because it pairs so well with delicate seafood such as oysters and we didn't want the heat to build too quickly. You can also add the Blue Point Toasted Lager hot sauce to any grilled fish, ceviche, and all kinds of salad. Blue Point Brewing Company is a Long Island based brewery innovating with the best the East Coast has to offer. The Boatyard Brewery's coastal ties have always connected them with oysters and other ingredients native to their Long Island roots. Now click on the link in the description to get a little bit more information about the uh, Blue Point Brewing Company. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into this. Let me read the ingredients. We start off with white vinegar, lemon juice, yellow bell peppers, Blue Point toasted lager, celery, shallots, garlic, habaneros, olive oil, salt and spices. Now the uh, sodium is only 50 milligrams. So that is just awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Now check this out guys. Just look at that beautiful color. It's got a nice consistency to it as well. Not too thick, not too thin. It's got a little bit of kind of a grittiness like uh, like uh, applesauce in a way, but a really nice color on this one. <coughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into this. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, this has such an awesome aroma, guys. You get the bright um, citrus notes of the of the lemon juice, just a little bit of a tang from the vinegar, but in such a good way. And then you just get this blast of um, onions um, coming from the shallots, and, and a little bit of notes of the celery and the garlic. Just a super super savory aroma to it. I believe I can pick up just a little bit of the hints of the beer. It's not overpowering at all, uh, but I kind of recognize that that um, the aroma that, that uh, beer is going to add to a hot sauce. But just amazing, really, really awesome aroma. Bright, citrusy, but at the same time savory as well. All right, I'll show you what this one looks like. <clears throat> Blue Point Toasted Lager. From Queen Majesty. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? All right, here we go. <clears throat> mm. Wow. All this stuff is so good, guys. It tastes exactly like it smells. You get the, the tartness of the vinegar just a little bit. You get the lemon juice, a nice citrus blast. You get just a little bit of heat, uh, heat from the habanero peppers right away. Just a little bit. Just a touch of heat from habanero, so it's not overpowering at all. Just a nice level of mild spiciness, but the shallots, the celery, the garlic is just outstanding. It's just amazing. I can tell this would be good on fish. Now it's made for oysters, so I was thinking, you know, usually I think about a red sauce, a spicy red sauce to put on oysters, so I, I bet this really would be unique and different, but flavor is just outstanding. Heat on this one, I think it's just about a two, solid two out of 10 for heat. You get a little bit of nice warmth from the habanero peppers, but not overpowering at all. Yeah, and I bet this really would be good on all kinds of fish, grilled fish, ceviche, salads. Um, also, I, be, I believe it would be just incredible on a poke bowl. Oh, man, that would be fantastic. But here's a picture of what I did with this one, guys. I put this on some baked barramande. I just love that fish. Um, it's just fantastic. I love it. It's so delicious. On top of some uh, cauliflower puree, a mash uh, with some steamed broccoli, and it was just outstanding. This stuff is 
Really, really good, guys. Highly recommended from um, Queen Majesty Hot Sauce. So check this company out, guys. Give them a like on Facebook. And you can find their website at queenmajestyhotsauce.com. Link will be down in the description. And this is not the only uh, good sauce that they have. They've got several others that are just outstanding. So if you haven't tried anything from Queen Majesty, I highly recommend that you do. All right, stay tuned for a lot more, guys. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.